Okay, we are here at launch and we're looking at the Swerve booth. And I'm sorry, your name is? John Maxior. And John dragged me over for a demo and I nearly tried to flee, but he was so he was so persuasive and it's a really interesting app. So tell us about Swerve. Well, Swerve you can think of as uh, Pandora for your social calendar. It learns about you as the more you use it. So you can, through your preferences, through how you visit different events, through the choices that you make, things that you put in your planner, events that you attend, um, builds uh, behind the scenes a profile for you, as well as takes into account things that your friends are going to as an indication of things you might like. So what we have here at the top level is, is our best bets category, and this presents to you in a very sort of visual way things that are going on that are relevant to you in different categories, in different channels as we call them, including deals. So we've got music and nightlife where we present uh, a, a deal that's near you in, in a time frame that's uh, uh, convenient for you. You can visit the, the channel and you can see all the events that are going on in your area and list them, sort them by date, time, distance. So you put in, for example, San Francisco or London or wherever you happen to be and it learns about the events by category, so if it's arts and entertainment. Exactly. So if you find yourself going to a lot of food events and you, you're constantly viewing that channel, those types of events will take precedence over other events as being presented to you as a best bet for an evening. So the idea is even though you can have many different sources, I mean, there's no lack of sources of events out there. There's thousands. If we don't want to give you thousands, we want to give you five of them that are relevant to you on the go in under five seconds. So as soon as you open the app, it's going to display something for you. You can also choose if you're going to be in a different city to pick where you're going to be in the coming week and, and just discover best bets for you in the same way so you just plugged in New York. Plugged in New York, and now these deals, these uh, these sort of events and deals are relative to New York, and you can do the same sort of browsing. Now you see, like, we're viewing New York. We can choose any number of these channels, uh, food and drink. Social gatherings is where we allow you to create your own events so that you can create events on the fly. So that's similar to PlanCast, where you put in your own events that you're going to attend, and then your friends can see it and also exactly. share that so you, data. So you can share things either through your Facebook. So we have extensive Facebook integration allowing you to pull in and seeing what your friends are up to that way. But we also have your swerve friends so you can actually uh when you you know go and see what's going on with with arts and museums you can say hey i want to create something maybe perhaps near one of those venues we like to think of these discoveries as your anchor events and then you typically an anchor event is a, a reason to get your friends together but there's always something before and there's always something after and we allow you to discover those and plan your own things around those to, to make it a more social experience so you had mentioned some of the guys that you're like changing up with like upcoming and what were some of the other yeah so right now event we have, right. Uh, we have uh, partnerships with Z events upcoming uh, sonic living for our music uh, uh, also event right and, and they, of course yeah. all of these things do ticketing so we can actually pick something like if we go to what about geo local like where does that sort of fit into this so if geo local so foursquare and guala and places like that is yeah. there a way to maybe team up with them in the future uh we thought a lot about like check-ins and sort of that sort of thing and we actually feel like our, our relevance isn't so much about where you have been or where you are immediately but it's much more about where you're going to be and trying to plan things ahead of time and that's actually where the component for um uh, how we intend to, to, uh, to make revenue off of this is really about sort of projecting where you're going to be and uh, what you're going to be doing then and therefore the deals that we, you get presented are much more relevant to you. Going to a music show, you might want to stop in for drinks or dinner in the immediate area. You might plan this out two weeks or two months in advance as opposed to you know something on the spur of the moment. And you might not even know about, like if you're going to, like I went to Paris in December and had absolutely no idea what was um, around me that were you know relevant events around music. So this tool would have been amazing to have right. when I was so over there. That's, that's a very good point because we like to take this sort of personalization and try to apply it to areas that you're not familiar with, which may even be more valuable than in your own 
neighborhood because you've probably got a decent sense of what's going on, except, you know, big metro areas are, are an endless supply of those things, and you like to be exposed to new things, so we like the, the discovery part is, is sort of a big sell. And a lot of people, myself included, the problem we're trying to solve is it takes a half an hour at least of pouring through a bunch of blogs and websites and, you know, doing the same thing. More sort of than rigorous, a half an hour, my friend. Right? <laughs> A rigorous routine that's all too well known by a lot of people. So it's even just the simple, the simplicity of pulling all those sources together is a, is a big step up. And we hope to, through the aggregation and the, the personalization, to make it be valuable on the go. I think it's a great idea. It's a really great idea. And is it uh, www.swerve.com? Uh, www.swerve.to. So Swerve 2. So you're swerving two events. Swerve.to? That's right. Okay. And it's an iPhone app today, and you're going to bring out additional support in the near That's future. Right. That's right. Working okay. on Android and a, and a web uh, companion to it as well. Great. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Thanks.